First, though, investigators are searching for the man accused of opening fire inside of an Under Armour store, killing an employee. Thanks for being with us. I'm Justin Wormuth. And I'm Bridget Ellison. Police say 46-year-old Daniel Everett worked at the store and was fired just hours before the shooting at Orlando International Premium Outlets. News 6's Mark Lehman joins us live from the Orlando Police Department this noon, and he tells us what he's learning about the suspect and victim, Mark. Yes, Orlando police tell us the U.S. Marshal's office is involved in the search for Daniel Everett, and they have been speaking with his wife and child. Meanwhile, I spoke with the family of the woman he is accused of killing. They tell me they are devastated over what happened and pray he is caught soon. We do believe that his target was intended. Police Chief Orlando Rolone identifying 46-year-old Daniel Everett as the man who opened fire at the Under Armour outlet Monday night. Everett was a manager there and fired from his job just yesterday morning. Hours later, investigators say he returned and killed former co-worker Eunice Vazquez. Her family sharing these images of the 37-year-old who they say was a dedicated manager and had problems with Everett in the past. He had no other... Uh, plan, we believe, when he came to the store other than to do what he did. Obviously, that mall is very popular and no one else was injured in the process. Shortly after the shooting, police tell us they learned Everett created a list that included Vasquez's name along with other store employees. There was a list of employees that possibly had maybe made complaints on him in the past and that seemed to be the people he was upset with. Detectives then making contact with each person on that list, ensuring they're safe. It's, it is very frightening for all of them. We've asked all of them to make sure that they are at a location that is not part of their personnel file. Meanwhile, an urgent search has been underway for the accused killer. Investigators say he may be driving a 2012 silver Kia Sorento with a Florida license tag of IH21AC. Now, Orlando police went on to say that uh, they were aware of no criminal history that Everett had that would make them think that he was capable of something like this. But right now, he should be considered armed and, dang and uh, dangerous, and anyone who sees him is urged to call 911 immediately. We will, uh, will uh, of course, keep you updated with any new developments we receive throughout the day. For now, reporting live in Orlando, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.